Okay, so the graph of cosine function with phase shift and vertical shift. So these are things to remember when graphing a cosine function. So this is the equation, then the amplitude, the period, the scale, the phase shift, and the vertical shift. So the graph starts at the phase shift. So uh, maximum height for the positive and minimum height for the negative. So we have this given, so y equals 4 cosine, then 3x minus 3 pi over 2 plus 3. So from this given, uh, a is equal to 4, then b that's uh, uh, 3, and d that's positive 3. So to get the amplitude, that's the absolute value of a, or the absolute value of 4, so therefore the amplitude is positive 4. Then for the period, that's 2 pi over b. Now since b is equal to 3, so therefore that's 2 pi over 3, and that's one period, or that's 5 k points. Then for the scale, that's period over 4. So period is 2 pi over 3 over 4. Then simplify this equation, so this one is 4 over 1, then get the reciprocal, so 2 pi over 3 times 1 over 4, so simplify this 2 and 4 divisible by 2, this one is 2, then multiply, so pi times 1, and 3 times 2, so therefore the scale is pi over 6, or that's the interval. Then to solve for the phase shift, so this is the phase shift, that's 3x equals 3 pi over 2, then to solve for x, so transpose this negative 3 pi over 2, that becomes uh, 3x equals positive 3 pi over 2. Then to solve for x, divide by 3, divide by 3, so that's uh, 3 pi over 2 times the reciprocal, of 3 that's 1 over 3 then cancel this 3 or simplify so therefore the phase shift that's pi over 2 and for the vertical shift that's uh, the d which is equal to 3 so therefore the vertical shift is positive 3 now since positive 3 therefore that's up 3 then using these values, we can uh, graph now this equation. So these are the given, the amplitude, the period, the vertical shift, the scale, and the phase shift. Now for the graph, always start plotting the phase shift, and that's pi over 2. Then from the phase shift plus the period, then you simplify, so the LCD is 6. So 6 divided by 2, that's 3 times pi, that's 3 pi. Then 3 divide, I mean 6 divided by 3, that's 2, times 2 pi, that's 4 pi. Then you simplify, so that's 7 pi over 6, so this is 1 period or 5 k points. So we have now the first point, then the second point, plus the interval, that's pi over 6. So the LCD is 6, so that's uh, pi over 2 plus pi over 6, so the LCD is 6, so that's 1 is 3 pi, then plus pi, so this one is 4 pi over 6, so the second uh, K point, that's 4 pi over 6, then plus the interval, so the third now, that's 5 pi over 6, plus the interval, that's 6 pi over 6 plus the interval, that's 7 pi over 6. Again, 1 period, that's equivalent to 5k points. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's 7 pi over 6. Now you can reduce this uh, fraction. Now since the first k point is positive, so therefore uh, the y-axis is on the left of the first k point so this is the y axis then from the vertical shift that's d equals 3 so therefore 3 up 1 2 3 
for the new axis or for the new x axis and we have this amplitude that's positive 4 so 4 up 1 2 3 4 for the maximum height and 4 down for the minimum height so 1 2 3 4 and this is the minimum height now since the given is positive cosine so therefore the graph start at the maximum height of the phase shift this is the phase shift is the maximum height then to the axis to the minimum to the axis and to the maximum now but if the given is negative cosine then the graph starts at the minimum but since our given is positive cosine that's why the graph starts at the positive or starts at the maximum height of the phase shift. So this is now the graph of y equals 4 cosine 3x minus 3 pi over 2 plus 3.